Another chest. Ugh, it won't open. What a mess. I would have expected a scholar to be more organized than this. A desk made of stone. How original! This Bible sure looks old. I think that dust was here for decades. How gross. The Bible's chained to the pulpit. Fastened in place with a padlock. This Bible sure looks old. I think that dust was here for decades. The Bible's chained to the pulpit. People on this island seem to love chests. <laughs> Chevier doesn't seem to care much about cleanliness. I'll leave that to the domestic staff. This picture looks loose. There's an old safe embedded in the wall. I wonder if there's anything in the safe. It's no use without the correct combination. The desk's covered with old, funny-looking bottles. Hi, Chevier. Can I ask you something? I'm glad you came. There is so much I want to talk to you about. Uh, can it wait? The search for knowledge is a wondrous thing and should never be kept waiting. Um... What's the outside world like? How has science progressed in the last 200 years? What... Uh, hey, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I've never met anyone so rude. I came here because I need your help. That's just too bad. I can't stand people who don't have simple good manners. Go away. I came here because I need your help. That's just too bad. I can't stand people who don't have simple good manners. Go away. Hmm. It's an old fisherman's hat. Waxed to make it waterproof. It's an old fisherman's hat. Someone left the gas on. That's how accidents happen. What an interesting jar. Maybe it's used for cooking. Please, uh, pull the curtain uh, across if you need to use the bathroom cabinet. <laughs> you mean that... Oh, my God. Ew, I'll never touch this jar again. There's a spiral staircase through here. I won't go upstairs until I'm sure that stupid seagull is gone. It's a handful of small stones. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt. There's a spiral staircase through here. There's a great view from up here. Looks like a makeshift observatory. This telescope is pointing at the town hall. Right into the room where Miss Brown works. 
Chevier is spying on her. I wonder what this coil of rope is for. It may seem like I'm stealing, but I'm just borrowing it. Why are you spying on Miss Brown? I, uh, I'm not spying. Well, I'll see what Miss Brown has to say on the matter, shall I? Nothing could give me greater pleasure than to help a, such a charming young lady as you. Just uh, don't tell anyone about the telescope. Deal. What's that old wooden machine out there? I thought I could build a flying machine. Turns out I was sadly mistaken. This building looks old. It is. It was once a chapel, but hasn't been used as such since the priest abandoned it many years ago. Why don't you cover up that old graffiti? Graffiti? On the wall? It looks like some people have been carving their names. Those are references to Bible texts. I need some information on trees. Can you help me? I should think so. There ought to be a book on the very subject over there. Thanks. Just don't mention the telescope. What telescope? The one... Ah. Hey, do you know the mayor, Juan? Don't you mess with my boy. He said a rough upbringing. He's your son? You don't look alike. I adopted him after his parents died. Oh, God, that's awful. How did they die? Juan's father was quite the daring adventurer and loved to show off. He was killed during the annual shark racing derby. You mean... Yes, he was eaten by one of the sharks halfway around the course. What a waste. I'll say. I'd placed a bet that he would last two more laps. What happened to Juan's mother? She died a few months later. A broken heart, some said. But she just stopped eating and simply faded away. Oh, that must have been awful for Juan. He was only a young boy, and he went a little wild. The other islanders were all for locking him up, so I stepped in and took him under my wing. That's cool. He suddenly discovered a passion for learning and devoured all my books within a few years. That's how he developed his love of poetry and art. That's right. Unfortunately, living away from the other islanders, uh, along with the education, meant that others were very wary of him. Where does Morgan fit into this? Juan grew into a handsome young man, and naturally took an interest in women. Although he seemed to worship Morgan, he never plucked up the courage to ask her about courtship. Then one eye took over the island, and nothing has been the same since. What happened to the shark racing? One Eye was looking for someone to be the mayor and report to him. No one was very interested until Juan stepped up to the job. He told One Eye he'd only do so if the shark racing was banned. I guess that didn't go down too well. Even now, the islanders feel they were betrayed by Juan. Why did One Eye agree to Juan's request? Two reasons. First, the sharks had been killing off potential pit workers. Second, the islanders loved the racing, and Wan Eye has always been the biggest killjoy. Surely they realized Wan had done it because of what happened to his father. The islanders refused to see it that way. Why do the islanders think Wan's odd for bathing too regularly? 
Most people hardly ever bathe in a tub. A quick swim in the sea or the river soon deals with the grime of a working day. And what? After the death of his father, he developed this incredible fear of swimming. Bathing in a tub means he's safe from sharks. It's true what they say. Childhood trauma can really screw you up. Javier has an impressive collection of books. Now, which book can it be? Something about exotic species, I think. 